even knew that that was a commodity. Everybody just gave up their data, not ever thinking it was going to be insanely valuable for targeting people for advertising. Is that the biggest concern is what they can do f from a financial standpoint versus like a malicious attack with that data? Um, I mean, the the real thing is like, we don't know what what it like, like I read something about DNA, you know, like one of those ancestry things where they got bought out and someone paid for all the the DNA data. That's an interesting one. That's a little fucked up. Yeah. See see if that's real. Cuz it might have been one of them things where I was like scrolling through Instagram and it was like some <laughs> wacky person <laughs> screaming about something. You always got to double check yeah. these. See if that's real. I'm looking um, but I don't know what, what what I mean. As technology increases, you have to think in terms of possibilities. Like maybe that data is going to be even more valuable and more more personal. Like you don't, you know, we we don't know like what we're giving up. Blackstone to acquire Ancestry for four point seven billion. Hmm. Okay, but do they? But do they? have access to the DNA database of all the people that sent into Ancestry, right? What do they have? Do they have access? Do they buy the company or did they acquire the database as well? Man, you know what I'm four, saying? For $4.7 I'd certainly think that they got all the Get it all. assets and data. But, is and that, but did, that's the thing. Do they think of other people's personal DNA as an asset? Is it listed as an asset? Or is it just the business that does DNA testing that they bought? Because that's very, it's a very popular business. If I'm writing People that check, I'm going to want all that. <laughs> right, but I mean, I'm wondering yeah. if you can sell that. Like when people give up, when, when they send it in, right, when they get their DNA test done, are you giving up your rights to that information? I wonder if you sign any what, waiver when you scroll all the way bottom and, you know, terms and conditions, you're just like, yeah, fuck yeah, it. You're not reading the 48 yeah. pages. Yeah. Well, like, the, hey, we're going to sell one day, and all that shit goes with it. That's the scariest conversation about bioweapons, that they could make a, they could make a bioweapon specifically targeted for you. Wow. If they knew your DNA. That's, you talk about, like, the TikTok and China having all that shit. You know, you have something like a January 6th that happens, right? And all the red tape to get all of the, you know, geo... Uh, data from Facebook and everybody else is like, fuck you, you, you know, we're not giving you shit. You think they can get anything, there's any backdoor deals like, hey, we need work, U.S. government working with China to get any of that shit to, if something were to happen like that? They have that kind of relationship to get it in backdoor channels of... Like the U.S. would get the, the yeah. information from China? Yeah. I don't know if China would have, they would have to admit they're taking it. And I think there's been like real dispute as to like with TikTok in particular, like where the data goes. I can't get this pop up to stop. But what, what is it saying? Uh, China is the world's biggest uh, face recognition dealer. And then it, it <gasps> says in the sub headline that the US is the second largest exporter. Exporter. And there's a video I'm trying to find of this, uh, what's happening. I said the video was made as though this is what's happening in China right now, showing the surveillance. Mm -hmm. It's taking facial recognition and showing you driving down the freeway in cars and tagging the license plates and all that stuff. And like even how or why that's happening is a big question. Well, they just want people to know that they're being tracked everywhere you go. Then you'll self-censor. Then you'll, you, you'll stay in line. You won't do anything. And in China, what's really scary is the places that have uh, everything connected to a social credit score. So you have a centralized digital currency, and then you have a social credit score. And if your social credit score is too low, you can't do things, can't buy things, can't buy a car. How does your social credit score go down? You got to be a good boy. Your Google hmm. search history. Yeah, oh. whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> Fuck that. It's literally like your tweets. You like what you, you don't what be a human anymore. You're going to be a human that's deeply influenced by the fact that you know you're constantly under surveillance, and you that gives into tyranny. And people have control over your life that way. And the people that have access to the switch to decide whether or not you get money, you, whether or not you can fucking buy a plane ticket, whether or not you could buy certain groceries. like They just shut you off. Yeah. I wonder if you're of means, can you buy credits for that? 
If you social credit back, score. Uh, yeah. It's a good question. Yeah. I'm sure that somebody's monetized. Make a million dollar donation and get another 50 <laughs> points on your social credit Jesus score. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's a bribe to be able to buy a plane ticket. Yeah. That's our future if we don't wise up. And so many people that just want, they want the government to have that kind of control because they think it'll silence the people that they oppose. They don't realize it's going to come for you too. Like th there's a real strong reason why the founding fathers set this place up the way they did because they knew that people get in control of things they have too much power and then so they made it like real complicated with multiple layers of justice and that's the that's just to stave off this fucking normal desire that people have to absolutely control the people that are under them that's why kings existed. That's why monarchs and that's why rule emperors. That's what they've always done that forever. And it's just a natural human instinct for one person to want to control everything or one group to control everything and have everybody sub be their subjects. I'm glad we can just focus on building fucking cars. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm know. talking about. I'm 